please welcome Garrison Wynn. Thank you. Thank you. So, how do you get people to actually do what you want them to do? How do you get people to actually do what you want them to do? In order to, to, to really be effective, we got to set ourselves up to win first. Because change is not the issue, it's our resistance to change the issue. Everybody gather around for the safety meeting. There are three ways we can do this. Two of them will kill you. <laughs> I like this way. It's called the non-death method. It's called the non-death method. So, Tom, I'm not saying that your way is wrong. I'm saying that's called innovation, safety innovation. I like it when we do it this way. The people know that you're real. And they know that you know there's more than one way to solve a problem. You've got depth. And they know they'll look good to other people by dealing with you. They know those three things. They'll listen to every single thing you say. It's the foundation of influence and why some people can walk into a situation and their input about what's safer in the field is listened to. When I think about multiple solutions for a single problem, there's a lady down in Florida and she's the living embodiment of multiple solutions for a single problem because she's a veterinarian and a taxidermist. <laughs> and her motto, her motto is either way you're getting your dog back, either way. Either way. You have to act yourself into thinking. You can think about it all day long, knowledge and power, knowing it and doing it have nothing in common. The real reason people don't want to change is because nobody wants to be a senior beginner. They want to wake up in the morning and realize what they used to know is no longer valid and valuable enough. So they shoot holes in the new way and they cling to the old way because it makes them smart. You got a lot of guys out there doing it in a way that's not safe because they understand that way and it makes them smart. That's the truth. Think about that. My dad is 83 years old on the computer every day. Five years ago, it wasn't five years ago, my dad sent me his very first email. He said, damn it, it's all just two words. <laughs> my dad's retired from people's gas systems and he knows that action and adaptability create safety. Our research showed that the number one thing that all humans value is feeling valuable. And statistically, people who feel valuable make fewer mistakes, they're more aware, they don't get hurt as often. Years ago, we brought some people in from a couple oil and gas companies, brought them in to Alaska, to Anchorage, and we trained these guys on making the people on those rigs feel. We brought the tool pushers in, we brought the drill site managers, and trained them on making their people feel more valuable, and over five or six months saw a measurable level of safety improve. People who feel valuable, who feel like that, that they're valued by their companies, are more aware, they don't emotionally check out, and they're safer. Yeah, people need to know that their experience and what they're doing plays a key role in the future. To make people value, you gotta say it. I gotta say, Jordan, you know what? You do a good job, you're one of the best guys that got out here. I need you to, 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 to help me with this thing because I appreciate your talent. You're really good at what you do. Or I could say, Tom, you suck, you're terrible. Um, <laughs> but I got faith that you can do a better job. I believe in you and I know you can do a better job than you're doing. I know you can be safer than you are now. That's the language that comes out. What's interesting about the whole thing, and this is what our research showed specifically, and I'll get you guys some notes on this at the end of my presentation. But we found out that we have to, to have the trust and relationships in place. I am somebody. Do you see this guy? Turn around. I am somebody. We know that because he walked up here in the middle of my presentation to actually tell me that. About, you know, 80 to 90% of all car accidents happen within two or three miles of your destination. You know why that is? because you're thinking about what you're gonna do when you get home. What's your name, sir? Sheldon, you're driving your car, but when I get home, I'm gonna do that thing I do. Whatever that is you do, Sheldon, I'm gonna get home and do that thing. I'm doing that thing when I get home, and I'm doing it all day when I get home, I'm gonna do it. Driving, and what, your brain is not inside the vehicle. So literally, you're driving along, and your mind is doing whatever you do, Sheldon, when you get home. That's what's happening. Yeah. So my ex-wife took out the entire garage door from inside the garage. <laughs> My question is how fast do you get going inside a garage? It's called complacency. Very interesting. So a couple things. 387,000 injuries last year for distracted drivers. That's phone and texting. Uh, right now, 10 people a day die every day from texting. 10 people a day. And that's what we can track. That's how we can prove that. Um, do you think you and I had the same experience in high school? No. No. When you were in high school, the message was what? Just say no to drugs? When I was in high school, my shop teacher showed me how to make a bong, Jared. No comparison. Sorry. They're laughing. That's not a joke, Jared. That's really true. So one generation does not have the experience of another generation. So here's what's important. We got to make sure they say we're our brothers and sisters keepers. We are very much our little 
brothers and sisters keepers. So I need to make sure I'm not saying something that creates a less safe mindset for Jerry. Are we going to innovate? Are we going to inspire? Are we going to collaborate? Do all those things? Are we flexible enough along the way to the goal? It's great to have a goal, but are you flexible enough along the way to the goal? Look back in history and see who is the most successful. They flex, they turn. When things change, they changed with it.